Hey, this is John from CashCoach.net bringing you a screencast video today on how to make a Squidoo lens, how to do it properly. Um, maybe you already have a Squidoo lens, but you're not getting any traffic. You're wondering why. Hopefully, this will clear up some of those issues. And maybe you've never built a Squidoo lens at all in your life and you want to get started. Uh, this will help show you how easy it is to get started. Just take you step by step through the process. Uh, of how to get your Squidoo lens going. So, this is a great tool, by the way, for affiliate marketers. This is why I'm making this video. Uh, CashCoach.net is a website that talks about how to get started with affiliate marketing, how to make money online using the internet. So, this is just one of many ways you can do that with article marketing, uh, like easing articles, Go articles, article base. Uh, but Squidoo articles actually have ranked higher than some of my easing articles using some of the same keywords. So there's a lot of potential with Squidoo. Uh, Google really likes it. So let's get started here. The topic we're going to use as an example today is going to be hair loss. So, But you can use these same principles with whatever affiliate campaign you're, you're trying to promote, whatever direction you're going in, whatever niche or sub-niche you're trying to focus on right now. Um, you can use these same principles. So you want to use the keywords here. I've already typed it in. You can see it on the bottom there. We're going to use five best ways to stop hair loss. Our key word will be stop hair loss or ways to stop hair loss and we want to use that keyword throughout our entire lens but the title is the most important part. All right, That's what you really want to make sure your keywords in there and the closer your keywords are to the beginning of the article uh, the better they'll rank in Google actually. That's what I've noticed with a lot of easy articles as well. So we're going to go to step two after we get our title down there and usually I like to just click that top uh, one, I want to get the word out. There's other options you have, but that usually works the best for me. All right, now you're gonna you have your title up there. We're gonna choose our URL. That's probably the second most important part. We're gonna type in ways. Let's see. I've, I think I've already just. Um, we're gonna type in best ways to stop hair loss. Kind of a long. Uh, phrase to put in there, but that's what we're going to really make this specific. We're really going to optimize for that phrase, uh, ways to stop hair loss. And we're going to choose our category. That's important. Uh, I mean, there's, these are pretty broad categories. We're going to choose health and medicine. But often someone will find your lens because they were looking at a similar lens in another category. So you want to make sure you get an appropriate lens or appropriate category for that. And this is G rated material, of course. I want to stop those men from balding. And there's our keyword right up there. Usually it's just your title. I'm going to just keep it ways to stop hair loss or best ways. Oops. All right. And tags aren't as important as they used to be, so we're just going to type a few in here. I mean, it's you could put a few appropriate ones in there, but um, this part is not a huge deal. Stop. We're going to put stop balding. You can put several more in there. We're not going to go through all that right now. And looks like that says geek. Whoa, I can't even read that. Geek look. Maybe you could read that better than I can, but I have no idea what that says, so we might have to try it again. All right, we got it. And there's the page that we've created. Obviously, it's still in its uh, construction stage. And we're going to get rid of a few of these modules that we don't want right now. Okay, there's a few that we want right now, a few that we don't. Get rid of Amazon voting. We're going to get rid of. Um, RSS right now because there's another option to put RSS on our page which is vital. We're going to get rid of Flickr photos. That just distracts people, takes people away from your page and with affiliate marketing you want them using your affiliate link more than any other. So uh, we're going to get rid of this one as well. Okay. Now here's the introduction. This is very important part as well. Again we're going to use the same keywords stop hair loss. Uh, let's see. Looking for the best ways to stop hair loss and I would capitalize all that but I'm just rushing through this. I like to use a question in the uh, in the title of the intro because that kind of uh, promotes intrigue. People are like, oh, what's that all about? You want to use some kind of question or call to action or maybe uh, in the lens description, just give a brief summary of what your article is going to be about. Okay, Don't bore them um, or don't talk about something that the article doesn't even relate to. But it's important to use your keywords at the beginning and at the end of each paragraph. If you have a lot of paragraphs, you might not want to do that as much because you want your keyword density between 2 and 5% usually, so you don't want to overdo that. Um, but just put a short little paragraph here talking about what this lens is about, what they can learn from it, and what, 
uh, what are some of the five best ways to stop hair loss. And since there are five ways to stop hair loss, we really want to make some more modules. We have one text module here. But for each one of these points, we're going to use another text module. And that is because the more text modules you have that are specific and targeted, the better you're going to rank for those keywords. So we're going to go ahead and click Add Modules. And here you see all kinds of modules that Squidoo offers. This video, we're not going to get into all that right now, but you can sell stuff with eBay, Amazon, Netflix. You have all kinds of widgets you can add, unique content with voting and for the guest book and all those things. But right now, we're just going to add some text modules. You could use one with a text with big picture if you want to as well. We'll throw one of those in there. And that helps. Uh, you could put a big picture of a you know a bald guy or something like that. Let's see, I didn't add enough of those, but it puts them all at the bottom. So we're gonna click reorder modules to bring all these text modules back up to the top. All right, looks like we have four, so I should have put one more in there, but that's all right for now. And for each one of these, like I said, we'll put step one: way to stop hair loss. And you could put something like uh, some kind of food you can eat that helps slow it down, or some kind of medicine or drug or whatever you want to put in there. For each point, make a title and use those same keywords, stop hair loss for each title. And don't make these paragraphs long. Maybe you have an article already about hair loss that you want to use. Break up each paragraph into these text modules so it's just a short little blurb, catchy title at each one so they can get a brief summation of the whole article at just a glance. Okay, we live in an age where everyone has ADD so the more the easier you make to read like that, breaking up the article, the easier it'll be, the, the, the better the chances are that they'll actually stay on the page, okay? Now we're gonna come down to the Amazon. You can put some Amazon things in there just to show you how easy this is. Um, I'm gonna run out of time here, but uh, you can click let Amazon pick. Just type in the keywords. You can put um, hair loss, click save, and there are some options on hair loss, a guide to hair loss cure. These are all things that can help make you money because you'll get 50% of everything that sells from your Scoodoo page. That goes with Amazon, eBay. Now, if you're already an affiliate of Amazon or eBay, I recommend just making an eBay RSS feed and put it into your RSS widget, which is you can add one of those under the widgets as well. Really easy. Just put the URL in there. All right, one last thing we need to change is the guest book. Change that. For, it says new guest book. You don't want to leave that as the default. You always want to change that to whatever you want. But leave, um, let's see, leave me some feedback, whatever you want to say. All right. Or maybe you want to say share your story about hair loss and how it's affected you. Or maybe something that's worked. Tell us what's worked best for you. Something that's going to promote people to leave their comments. Because the more comments you have, that's all fresh content coming to your page. And that helps keep everything fresh. Okay, because Google loves fresh information. Last thing we want to change is the Google blog search. And this, sorry, my phone's going off here. Uh, I should have turned it off before the video, but oh well, too late now. Under the Google blog search, you can add a bunch of blogs through the RSS feed. We're going to put hair loss. We'll post three of them. And you want it to update, oh, I should have changed that. You want it to update every 30 minutes. That way it's constantly giving you fresh content onto your lens. I like to leave that right below the guest book. Usually helps. And like I said, always have at least one RSS feed on there to start with. And when you're building that lens, you can click publish. Don't put any affiliate links on there yet. And if you do, just use one. Because if you put a ton on there, Google doesn't like that. You're always, it just looks spammy. So build the link slowly. One at a time. Add a couple links here, a couple links there. But to start with, wait for it to get indexed in Google.